Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411 and today we're going to go ahead and get the reading going for Libra. Okay Libra, thank y'all so much for your time and your attention. I already shuffled and spoke with Spirit for clarity, so we're just going to get right into your reading and you know what, I need to turn this around. And our first card is the Six of Pentacles. So this just basically is showing you that uh, this is a card of help. This is a card of charity. You could be helping someone, giving someone a favor, or maybe they could be doing that for you. So this is a card of help, spiritual help coming to you soon. And this is your for fortune card. So we'll get clarity as we go along. Next card we got is the strength card. So it just shows you have been doing all the things in life to gain strength. So you've probably been through death of loved ones and end, ending of relationships with a loved one, like someone like a, a soulmate or some kind of like twin flame. You probably had a love, a, a like a deep love with somebody and you possibly could have lost them. So this just shows somebody of internal strength, a lot of internal strength. You can't gain this kind of spiritual strength unless you've been through something really difficult many times over and over and over to test your metal and to get you to this kind of power with this lady opening that lion's mouth. Not many people would try that. So it's like she's confident in herself she can go into the lion's den come out unscathed okay so we'll get a little bit more clarity as we go along but these are your first two cards this is your fortune card this is the heart of the situation okay next is root of the matter and we got the nine of pentacles so wow this if this is you then you're enjoying your garden of abundance you are all about like living hard, playing hard, enjoying what you have, very thankful and grateful for what you have and maintaining um, your pinnacles and just living your best life. And so we got the six and now we're going to the nine, six of pinnacles to the nine of pinnacles. Okay. And you have strength on your side, spiritual strength, internal strength. Okay. Next card we have is the emperor okay so with this it could be that's who's helping you looks like he's the one here or you are the one it could be either or either you are the ones in need or you're the emperor who's gonna help and it looks like when the emperor helps this couple here that They'll be filling themselves. They'll be in their garden of abundance. So looks like you could be getting help from an emperor. We'll get more clarity as we go. Next card we got is your foundation card, the three of pentacles. So, wow, you got a lot of pentacles to start off with. We got the three, we got the six, and we got the nine of pentacles. So that is um, very, very telling. So you got this guy here who it, it has the last say, and it could be someone helping this couple out who needs help here and taking them to the Nine of Pentacles from the Six of Pentacles to help them build their foundation, All right? And it'll be a strong one, <laughs> okay? Wow. <laughs> look at all these Pentacles. Then you get the graduation card. So yeah, it looks like, You've been doing something amazing with your time and your energy, and now Spirit is about to bless you with this graduation gift, the Ace of Pentacles. So looks like it could be coming from this emperor. That's what it looks like. You're very strong. Um, looks like uh, he could be this one helping this couple. That's a glare in this thing. So looks like the emperor could be the one helping. And it looks like he could be helping to build a foundation. You know, wow. Where's that other card? You're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I guess not. Oh, here it is. So it looks like he could be helping. And this is, um, 
this could be you or maybe you're the emperor giving help okay now that was your first six cards and this card right here just sealed the deal for you this is pretty much um the rest of the reading is gonna evolve around this so we can cut it off now if you want like <laughs> you got your answer you 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 spiritually graduated you did something to deserve this coin this is a spiritual reward i'm so happy for you okay so that was the first half of your cards and this was the ending of your cards and this is your immediate future so the next card is what could come into and we got the seven of wands so this is just showing same thing you've already been doing your work more challenges you keep facing challenges you're meeting your challenges if there's a lot of challenges this week you'll be able to meet them and you have a better view you got the bird's eye view to those challenges and you can knock them out one by one okay so congratulations on that and we'll go into your home environment and it's a death card so this could be the death of the old to bring in the new because Looks like this is all about money. This is a lot of money, 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 things going on. The Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> so this is the death of the old. Maybe it's the death of all these challenges you've been going through. You know, maybe it's the death of you struggling and needing help and having to ask for help. It shows how strong you are in the face of adversity oops so maybe that's what spirit is saying okay we're gonna help you out and we're gonna have this emperor could be a dad could be a granddad could be someone of authority that can help you guys looks like that's what's gonna happen and it's gonna take you to major abundance could be a job i guess could be a job that you get from that emperor and it takes you to this nine of pentacles where you're loving life, you're feeling good, you're living in your garden of abundance. And this is all for your, to build up your foundation. So it could be a work scenario. It could be a family member or someone of authority coming in to help you with your foundation. And your spiritual reward is an inheritance. Okay, so let's finish up your last cards here. <laughs> Excuse me. The next card we have, and this is your hopes and fears card. So this is just basically the three of wands. And this could be one of two things. Either he's reminiscing about the past, thinking of, you know, how he collected those wands, everything that has happened thus far, and just rem reminiscing and thinking of, you know, past situations, past people, and he probably is like, it's sunshine, so it's a bun an abundant card, so he's probably just reminiscing, or he could be like, he sent out his order to the universe, and now he's waiting for his ships to come in, like he's been sowing and reaping, and now his harvest is about to come in, and that's exactly what it looks like, like, you see the boats in the water, they're coming, and they're, they're not in the harbor yet, but it looks like they're coming in soon, and it looks like it could be his dream come true, the, the wish that he put out by spirit. Next card we have, and this is your outcome card. <laughs> wow. So you got a, a shyster. This is seven of cups. So either, maybe not. It doesn't always have to be a bad card, but this is showing like somebody could be around you doing like evil deeds and lying behind your back and talking about you and setting you up. Or it could be you keeping a secret about something. Maybe you don't want people to know that you have a new love or that you're moving out of town and you don't want nobody to know. So you're just going to leave and not tell anybody. It could be that sort of thing too. But we'll try to get clarity on this seven. Uh, either way, it won't matter in the end because you got <laughs> a spiritual reward. Now let's see where we're going next. Wow. <laughs> Wow. So you got the sun, which is the best card in the deck, the most abundant card in the deck. Then you got the most abundant pinnacle of the deck. So spirit is about to bless you tremendously, Leo. You are about, did I say, is this a Leo reading? 
No, this is Libra. I just did Leo. So the funny thing is I did the cancer reading. I did cancer first. Then I did Leo, right? And so at the beginning of that, I said, hi, cancers. So if you check the description, that video is for Libra. I just misspoke. So uh, that was the last reading I did. So this is for Libra. The last li reading I did was for Leo, okay? And so look at what you have, Libra. This is just tremendously amazing. So you have the sun, the most abundant card of the deck, and now you're getting your inheritance, which is from spirit, the biggest coin that you can possibly get. So these are spiritual rewards coming back to you. So the sun is about to shine on you. Lovely. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful reading. Okay. So next card we got. And so we had this three and then we had this seven. Now for the ones, you got the three, the seven. I think that's it for ones. You have the three and the seven of wands. The rest is pretty much pinnacles. I don't see any cups. Only pinnacles and wands. And you got the strength card. Wow. Okay. So, yep, we did that one. We did the seven of wands, seven of swords. And now we got the three of swords. So, looks like this guy was a shyster. And he, like, caused you a lot of problems. You know, looks like you've been going through some things because of somebody shysty and looks like he caused you a lot of pain, but you're getting over this. This is going to be a thing of the past for where you're going from here. This struggle will be over where this guy has you fighting all the time. Looks like you're reminiscing, but you're also waiting for your new ships to come in, which is going to be the death of the old, right? You got internal strength to do it. Spirit is with you. Looks like maybe you're going to see an emperor or you, you went into your emperor uh, to deal with that situation. Maybe you became the emperor. But it looks like the emperor is helping this couple out. So that might be what the situation is. Maybe you got a new love and you're leaving the past. You guys been struggling. You're going to see this emperor and he's going to change your life. Could be also a career thing going on here where you're about to level up for your foundation. Spirit is going to bless your new foundation and he's going to bless it. She's going to bless it. So lovely. <laughs> With these two cards, you can't lose. You got the sun and the ace of pentacles. You're rich. <laughs> You're super rich. <laughs> Get it, Libra? Super rich. Okay, I might even title that this. We're super rich, Libra. <laughs> I'm a Libra moon. So, wow. The best card in the deck. And this one's right there with it. <laughs> so, congratulations on the beautiful read this week, Libra. Looks like it could be a past relationship or a new relationship, going to a new relationship, <clears throat> excuse me, you're building up your new foundation. And it looks like you have the support of an emperor who's going to be there to make sure your foundation, you know, this is the beginning of your foundation. So he's going to be there to make sure it's solid. So congratulations on the death of the old. This is the death of the old. And looking back, reminiscing. Probably about the pain in this shyster here. It's over. You don't have to do that no more. You know, it's the end of this. No more reminiscing about this guy when you're building a new life that's leading to this. <laughs> if you do think about him, you'll be thinking of him like, oh, he really messed up. <laughs> I'm right where I need to be. So congratulations, Libra, on a wonderful reading this week. Bless y'all. Hopefully, you know, all that lovely blessing happens this week or sometime soon. I'm so thankful for y'all. Thank you for your time and your attention. Blessings, blessings, peace and love. Bye, y'all.